For those of you who'd like to join me in painting with watercolors as we venture from location to location through Tony Foster's journey, Exploring Beauty, Watercolor Diaries from the Wild, this video will explain the basic watercolor materials that you'll need. In some of the demonstrations, we'll be using additional, more specialized supplies. I'll be sure to cover those more specifically in their respective video descriptions, but for now, a basic watercolor kit should be all that you need to get started. You're gonna need a pencil, any is fine, an eraser, and as long as it erases cleanly, any should do. I have here a kneaded eraser and a regular one. Watercolor paper. Heavyweight paper is nice since this will be able to better absorb water without buckling. Some brands that I like to use are Arches, Strathmore, Fabriano, and Buckingford. But there's lots of great brands out there to choose from and you'll get to know what you prefer through experimenting. Water to rinse off your brush. A piece of paper towel or a sponge to wipe your brush dry. I have here both, but generally I prefer to use paper towel. Watercolor brushes. An assortment of these is nice. I use a Winsor & Newton Series 7 natural fiber round brush, this large one here. And these are nice because the natural fiber holds a lot of the water and the brush has a fine point for detail work. But it's nice to have a variety of shapes and sizes, generally larger brushes for washes and for broader strokes and the finer ones for sharp detail work. A watercolor palette or other mixing surface. Tony Foster uses a Tupperware lid for his, so really any surface should work. I will be using a large plastic mixing tray. And let's not forget watercolor paints, which will generally come in either a tube or in a small half or full pan cake. And both of these are fine to work with. I've decided to work with the same paints that Tony Foster uses, a brand called Windsor & Newton. These are professional paints that generally hold their color over time and are made with brilliant, vivid pigments. If you're just starting out with watercolors, there are lots of pre-made sets you can buy that have a good assortment of colors, either in half pans or paint tubes, and both of these are great. Some great brands that I've used in past include Windsor & Newton, Daniel Smith, and Sennelier, but there are too many out there to name. Basically, as long as you have a couple different types of reds, blues, and yellows in your kit, maybe one or two different greens, you should be good to begin. You can buy more colors as you start understanding how to mix color and begin seeing a need for new choices. For reference, in the video description are some of the Windsor & Newton colors in my palette that I'll be using in this series. Permanent Rose, Alizarin Crimson, Indian Red, Burnt Sienna, Windsor Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Cadmium Yellow, Ivory Black, Raw Umber, Hooker's Green, Viridian, Quinacridone Violet, French Ultramarine, and Cerulean Blue. Lastly, here are some additional materials for masking and applying frisket, which are good to get a hold of if you're able. Frisket, otherwise known as masking fluid, in an applicator bottle with a fine tip or with an applicator brush. You'll not want to use the same brushes that you use for watercolor painting with the frisket. This is latex based and because of that it will quickly ruin a brush. Use an old or cheap brush instead. To go with the frisket, a toothbrush, and you'll see why in future videos. Some tracing paper, scissors, or an X-Acto knife. Tape, masking or artist's tape is great. And finally, newspaper or some other scrap paper. Check out the description for this video or on the Foster website for further information and for some links to places where you can shop online for these materials. I'll look forward to having you join me in the Art Lessons with Matthias video series.